after a very dramatic couple of games in the last video, we are in the playoff final in our first season in the Conference National. We're up against York. It's down at Wembley. Let's go and get into it in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 43 and the biggest one yet of Kings Lynn Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020. Like I said in the intro, it's the playoff final. We're playing York. We're down at Wembley. About 40,000 fans are expected there for what is by far the biggest game in Kings Lynn's history ever. If we win this, we go professional. Everything changes for the club. It all rides on the 90 minutes in this game. As you can see, we are obviously carrying on from the last video. There's been no injuries, no nothing since the last game. So let's go and run you through the team for this massive game. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Andrew Unpronounceable is alongside Barnett. Both of them were brilliant in the playoffs. Crow is at right back. In midfield, it's Lewis, McCarthy, Simmons, DiMaggio, Wright, Phillips. And up top, it is Romain Mundell and our new star striker, Aberdeen Goodridge. Oh, I cannot wait for this. Let's go. I've made you wait two days for this. I've waited about ten minutes. Let's go and get into this game. The bookmakers have York as the favourites. They've beaten us four times in this save. We've beaten them once. Can we make it twice? Come on, come on, Kingsley. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are in the luxurious, the gorgeous, the spacious dressing rooms inside Wembley Stadium. I've been for the tour round Wembley Stadium and the dressing rooms are just amazing. And so our players must be loving themselves. And now our assistant has already told our players to do absolutely nothing. And so I'm going to say to them, I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. No real reaction. Oh no, come on. Yep, I have faith. I have faith. And I have faith. And so prediction time. Biggest game ever. Ah, oh, 1-0, 1-0 us, I would love a 1-0 win, come on Linnets, 9 minutes in, it's York with the first highlight, it's their corner ball, McCarthy's headed it away, it's gone to Weatherstone on the edge of the box, and now Le Leek Blunt, that's a weird name, but he's played the ball back to Richards, and now what can Richards do with it, can we get the ball back, Amankwa with it, wide to Corbenu, to Roland, we need to get this ball, Corbenu, Roland over the top, Brown Sterling, who I think caused us problems earlier in this season, he's tried to cross it, it's hit our man, but Brown Sterling's got it back, he's gone for a bone and a cheeky shit, but thankfully their shot after that move goes over the bar, oh 20 minutes gone, it's still all York, Corbenu with it, goes to Stalbana off a deflection off our man, but Lewis gets it, Goes to Mundell, who tries to play over the top. And could Goodridge get onto it? Yes, he does. He's in the box, but he's got nobody there with him. He's played it back to Lewis. Lewis into Mundell, to McCarthy, to Simmons. McCarthy again. Simmons again. McCarthy again. And now, Ryan, to me, to you, to me, to you. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get that picture of Chuckle Brothers out again. And then Corbenu gets it now off our long pass. And now Amankwa, he goes long. And oh no, our defenders failed to head it. Weatherstone is in the box. He's gone for the shot, but Herbin, the Frenchman, with a great save. And now corner ball for York. Who's it going to be to take it this time? It's going to be Corbenu again. He crosses it into the box. And Brown Sterling with a header, but Herbin with the save. Oh my days, every highlight is starting with York. But thankfully, we get the ball back off that one, but just lump it away. And now it's Amankwa with the ball. 
He plays it over the halfway line to Stalbena, to Roland, to Corbenu. Corbenu running at our defence. He's into the box. He's going to take the shot on, and thankfully that was awful. But you can see by the match stats, York are all over us right now. Seven minutes left in this half, and once again it's York starting the highlight off, but Simmons gets the ball back, goes to Mundell. He goes over the top. Goodridge is in. Goodridge is in. He's into the box. He goes for the shot, and he's just give that back to Bromarge. Oh, non-stop highlights in this game thus far. But we've got the ball back off their goal kick. Goodridge with it. He needs somebody out wide. He's been forced to go back to unpronounceable. McCarthy, unpronounceable. Into Simmons. McCarthy, oh, he's giving the ball away. Weatherstone coming forward with it. Plays it wide. But thankfully, our fullback, Crow, heads it away. And now DiMaggio, can he do a bit of Wembley magic like his granddad used to? Can't believe I'm saying granddad about a player who I've got. Simmons, out wide to Mundell. Goodridge is in, Goodridge is in, and that's a great choice. And we're leading, we are leading just before half time in the playoff final at Wembley. Tristan Aberdeen Goodridge with his 12th and biggest goal of the season. Oh my days, that took an age to come. But Mundell, he's played that pass so many times over the last few seasons to either Marriott or Tristan. And it normally ends up in a goal like it has there. And I think that's going to be the half-time whistle. Indeed it is. York have been all over us. Eight shots, two are three. Four on target, two are two. They've had one clear-cut chance, 2-R2. They've had a lot more of their possession, but we are 1-0 up, 45 minutes away from Kingsley going professional as a football team. Let's go Team Talk. Let's go Passionate. And, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. And everyone's delighted. Let's leave it at that. Come on, Kingsley. Five minutes into the second half. Crow with a free kick. McCarthy with the header. And we've tried to scramble the ball over the line. But York have got it away. And Mundell picks it up. Goes to Simmons. I think this highlight's carrying on. Call me a liar, because I was wrong. For the third game in a row, every game in this playoff, we've made the same substitution. Murray is coming on for Callum McCarthy. Don't want to be changing too much else right now. Do kind of want to give Fitzit a run out. He's one of my favourite players in this save. And so you know what, if we're still leading with 10 minutes left, I'm going to chuck Fitzit on for DiMaggio. But that's the one change for now. Murray in place of McCarthy. Okay, no more highlights, and so I am going to do just that. Bring Joseph Fitchett on in place of DiMaggio Wright Phillips. Joseph Fitchett, one of my favourite players in this save, like I just said. Wait, did he come through our youth intake? I've got a feeling he might have done it if this will let me click out of it. Oh, I'm going. Well, I'm going all over the shop here. Fitchett, yes, he did. So he's come through our youth intake, and now he's playing at Wembley. What a story for the young lad. We've got just over five minutes left. Can we please hold on? And there we go. We have done it. That's the full-time whistle. We have won the playoffs. We are going to be a League 2 team next season. We are going to be professional. Oh, my days. Wow. I was not expecting this with the end to the season we had. But Tristan is a Kingsley legend. Two goals in the last game. The one at Wembley to win it. Yes. And now let's have a look at the match stats. Ten shots York have had. Two are seven. Four on target. Two are two. Uh, one clear-cut chance they had, 2-R2, and we ended up with more of the ball in the second half. Yes! Let's go, Team Talk. Let's go, Passionate. Uh, well done, lads. Your performance has secured us promotion to League 2. Yes! Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes! Come on, Kingsley! 
Ah, oh, you know what? That's looking like a short episode so far. So we'll have a look at what budgets we might get for next season, and we'll do a we'll do a quick season review as well. We'll do we'll compare ourselves against all the other teams. We will look at players' average ratings, and yes, we are a League Two team. Oh, we're back in our inbox. Let's have a look at what people have got to say to us. We edged tight York contest. Yes, we did. We've been promoted for the second season in a row. We've done it back to back. Nathaniel Lewis is injured. How long is he out for? A month. He can have a month off. He's, he's deserved it. He's been very good this season. Post-match press conference. Uh, I'll send me assistant. And then club improvements. Um, the board would like to hold a meeting to, to discuss potentially turning professional. Haven't we got to turn professional if we go into League 2? I'm sure that's a rule. But yeah, I think that's a great idea. And so, yep, we are going professional. Let's have a look at the budget. What do you think? Uh, finances. Wow, that game made us a shed load of money. Oh my days. One game has changed the finances around so much. <laughs> oh my days. We're now expected to make, expected to have 1.6 million by the end of this season. And 2.34 by the end of next season. We might be able to compete next year. Oh, this is getting exciting now, boys. Our oh, budget's. Come on, what, what are we getting? What are we getting? Oh, I feel like a kid on Christmas. Um, um, hello, hello. 1.64 million we're going to have at the end of this season. So, like, in the next few weeks. And you've given me £27,000 of transfer budget. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh well, we're professional. We'll make it work. And yep, gaming leads Kingsley to promotion. And yep, unexpected promotion. Collective bonus payout. And we're going to be officially um, uh, professional by the week before my... What would that be? 2025. That's only five years away. 35th birthday. We're going to be professional a week before my 35th birthday. Uh, let's have a look. Am, am I a legend yet? Am I a legend yet? Am I even on the favoured personnel? Uh, where do you find out? General? Uh, there you do. There you go. And nope. Nothing for me. Two promotions on the bounce. Embarla gets favoured personnel. I don't get anything. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh well. Okay, so let's go. Uh, how do you how do you compare yourself against other teams? I have done it before. Right, uh, da -da -da, it's in competitions, isn't it? And then da -da, stats. There you go. So let's go. Team detailed average possession. We ended up fourth with an average possession of fifty three percent. Hereford getting sixty one percent. And they only finished fifth. Oh, maybe having the ball all the time doesn't always help you. Barnet in second, finishing 15th. Uh, where did the team who finished first? Uh, Port Vale, where did they come in this? Right down the bottom. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, penalties taken. We was joint fourth with six taken. And we only scored, well, we scored four out of six. That's actually quite quite decent. So I'm happy with that. Headers won. We won 2,112 over 49 games. And so that is HDR percentage, headers won ratio. So 60%. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, what, else do, what else do we want to have a look at? Don't really want to have a look at form. Uh, attacking. We got the most goals. I'm very happy with that. You would expect it without we started off the first... 13 or 14 games, I think it was, we started off, like, winning all of them without conceding, so, yeah, so, 77 goals over 49 games, 
Uh, what else do you want to have a look at? Cross completion ratio. That's disappointing. Only down in 18. But I suppose we haven't played. Well, we have played with wingers all season. But it's been... Most of our goals have come through Mundell playing the ball through. So I suppose that makes sense. And we had the most, the most chances. 140. Five away from Salford. Uh, conversion rate. We had the best... We had the best conversion rate, 11%. Uh, that's joint, just joint on percentage with Morecambe and Dulwich and Halifax. But we got the most goals from that. And so defending. The least conceded is Yeovil. We really dropped off towards the end, didn't we? Joint 10th. After that brilliant start again with the 13 or 14 games without conceding. So to finish there is quite disappointing. I'm not gonna be on it. I'm oh, well, I am gonna be honest. I'm not. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I've lost my words. We've been promoted, and then uh, conceded from direct free kicks. We didn't concede any. Nice. Uh, tackles won. We won the most tackles. So we have done really, really well. And then now attendances, one ten thousand three hundred sixty-seven for Bolton. We finished in seventeenth. We will be bottom in League 2, I should imagine. I should imagine we're going to be bottom in League 2 next year. Uh, stadium sellouts. We had just the one, that playoff game against Bolton. And finances. York spent the most money. How much did we spend? I don't think we spent anything, did we? No, we didn't. In fact, we made £97,000. So that is very, very nice. And now, just before I let you go, let's have a look at the squad. Let's do this by average rating. Romain Mundell, our best player, by a rating of 7.25. Over 41 starts and 6 subs. Second is Diaz Wright. Third is Andrew Unpronounceable. Nathaniel Lewis at left back, coming in in fourth with a 7.14. But that's very nice to see that we've got... How many have we got there? We have got eight people there with an average rating of better than seven. And we've got another two with a rating of seven. So we've had a very, very good season. And you know what? That's where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below to celebrate us going professional. Come on, that's got to be worth as many likes as we can get. You know what? I want to set a like target. Five likes. Can we get five likes on this video? Surely we can for going professional. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content, not just this save. We've got the India Building a Nation Challenge Series as well. And we've got the Real Madrid Classic League Series on Pro Evo 2020. And we've got the FM20 Five Years On Series. So a whole lot of good content on the channel at the minute. So please do smack that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and follow me on Instagram at Bad Jokes Gaming as well. And as well as all that, check out the Passion for FM lads. They're all down below. And check out the Passion for FM Twitter, Facebook, Discord and the website. Check all that good stuff out. I'll be back with you tomorrow for the India Building a Nation Challenge Series. See you then. We're going professional. Yay!